Welcome to the HTML5 tutorial. This is Hassan Mir from 02ProTraining.com. This series of videos provide training on HTML5 coding in a step-by-step -step manner. For the HTML5 training, the setup is going to be pretty simple. You need to open a browser. I'm going to be using Internet Explorer and you may use some other browser as long as the browser has the compatibility with HTML5. So most of the modern browsers are offering compatibility so that shouldn't be a problem. And then just open a notepad file. We can use this as our editor. If you want to use a different editor please feel free to do that. But I'll be using a notepad. So on the screen you're looking at a minimum HTML5 document. So this is a skeleton of the document. At least it should have these tags that you're seeing on the screen. So let's take a look at what we have. The first line has to be there, doc type HTML. So this line tells the browser that this document is in HTML5 language. So this is required. Then we have a beginning HTML tag and ending HTML tag. So anything in between is your HTML content. Now keep in mind that HTML content has two main parts, the header and the body. So header goes between head opening and head closing tags and the body goes between the body opening and body closing tags. So the most popular item that goes in the header is the title. So this is the title of the page that will appear on top of your browser. So let's give this a title. First HTML5 page and title goes again in between the opening and closing title tags. Other things that could go in the header section includes your JavaScript that will go again in between script opening and script closing tags and meta tags go up in there that is not read by Google and uh, so on. But the main meat is in the body. Here you put the actual content that you want to be displayed on the page. So the body could be my HTML5 document. Okay, so you need to save this document before you can view it through the browser. I'm saving it under a folder 02 Pro Training and HTML5. You can save it anywhere you like. Page 1.html. Now I'm using double quotes just to make sure that notepad doesn't give its own extension .txt at the end. In order to view the page through the browser you need to put in the location and the file name in the URL field of the browser. Keep in mind this file is, is still on your computer, it's not uploaded on a web server so you need to put in the full path of the file as it is located on your computer. Hit enter. Now you're gonna see the output of the page that you have created in HTML. So you have seen a bare minimum skeleton of an HTML5 document.